Well, before we get into what your service is, what got you into podcasting and helping podcasters like this, John? Well, I'm a power listener, so podcasting is the main way I consume content. I, I think it has been for the past five, five or more years. Uh, so I'm always listening to podcasts. A couple of years ago, I wanted to start my own business. Um, and the first part I thought of was a social podcast app. So you can find all your favorite podcasts and then engage the shows you listen to on social media at, at the same time. And I started building that a couple of years ago. I hired an agency. I spent a lot of money. Um, and it took a long time to try to even build that. But in the meantime, there were other social podcast apps that came and went, and it kind of dawned on me that this was, this was I was barking up the wrong tree. This was not going to work as a product. I've seen so many failures in the time I was building my own, and it was not going to work as a business. So I came to a hard decision last year um, about how to pivot my product, my business, into something that might be viable. And then I had this idea kind of at the start of COVID, um, I was thinking, we have this technology. Uh, we built our own app. Um, podcasters don't seem to have their own app. They've got websites where their listeners can go and see more content, engage further with the show, and then maybe convert to become a customer, buying merchandise or buying tickets, signing up to a newsletter. There are all these calls to action that podcasters want their listeners to take. But very few had an app. So that that's where the idea started. And I thought, maybe I can make podcast apps for podcasters where they could own that relationship with their listeners on the phone, not just on the web. And, um, yeah, that's where it began. 